We are through with module 6. Today we are going to talk about architecture of edge-based frames. So now you have got a master, that's edge master. You have got a region server. Every region server will have a mem store. That is a memory wherein the uh, cache of the file would be. The actual data would be there in the HDFS. The actual data is what is called as the edge file. Remember we had something called as edits, right? In our Hadoop, that was a log wherever, whatever used to happen. That is what is called as val, that is write ahead log. The write ahead log is also stored in HDFS so that if any time one of the region servers goes down, I can rebuild everything using the log file. <coughs> Plus, there is a new component over here that is called as Zookeeper. Okay, we did not have anything similar to what Zookeeper provides in our Hadoop architecture because that came out in 2003. This was three years down the line. They realized that the name node was doing a lot of things. What was our name node doing last time? Before I get down to that explanation, let me have a look at the question. Aditya was saying, doesn't make any sense of putting data into other regions for a single table. Uh, there will be latency. Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, wouldn't make any sense for putting data into other regions for a single table. Uh, 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 okay, doesn't okay because there will be latency. But then imagine uh, that is what is distributed database, right? The data is going to be distributed, Aditya. If the data is going to be distributed, it will help in uh, what you call of uh, having multiple people accessing the data. The speed, performance, all of that would be beneficial, Aditya. Fine. So now let's come back to the concept of what was the name node doing in our HDFS? It was acting as both a project lead, right? Project lead means communicating with the uh, clients with the client, with the client. So it was doing as a project lead, plus it was also working as a team lead, that means it was coordinating with the slaves also, the data nodes also, right? So the name node was doing both the things. It became a central point of contact, right friends? Now, uh, what happened over a period of time is this became complicated. So in your edge base, what they are doing is they have separated the role of the project lead and gave it to something called as zookeeper. And the role of your uh, team lead is given to your edge master. So edge master is only responsible for sharding and managing the data with the region servers and edge master will update the zookeeper and the zookeeper is what the clients will connect to. The clients will never connect to the edge master. The purpose of edge master is to only coordinate with the nodes. The client will connect to the zookeeper. Zookeeper will say that okay this is the place where this data is and then the client will directly go down to the uh, respective region server and update or get the data whatever it wants. So make sense on this guys? So we have got one more entity over here that is called as Zookeeper. Exactly, Zookeeper is also a daemon but then it is a software component also Hassan. Okay, in a pseudo distributed mode Zookeeper is there by default. So even in your uh, edge base shell when you started there was an implicit Zookeeper that was already there. Okay? Perfect. So it's a kind of a demon. Hey, what does H master do? Hey, H master is responsible for managing the rows across. There will be multiple tables, right? So who's going to manage all the multiple tables? Which region has got which shard? I mean, how the records will be spread across? If the rows increase, how will I break it up across? Who is responsible for what? So all the coordination activity is taken care of by the H master. The H master will have the details of the metadata, like what was there in name node, right? Sampath? So he should uh, know uh, which all rows are, uh, which range of rows of a table is handled by which region server, right? So that is what will be uh, given to the zookeeper so that when client asks for something, zookeeper can give you the latest one. Fantastic. Okay, so that's your concept, so let me minimize this. So these are the edge base components and now we have got the region server. So there we go. 
So if you look at the HBase components, you will see that a table is made up of regions. A region is nothing but a range of rows that is stored together. A region server serves one or more regions. Okay, a region can be served by only one region server. When it says serves one or more regions, that means of the same table or of different tables. The master server, that is HMaster, is a domain responsible for managing the HBase cluster and HBase stores all of its data into HDFS and it relies on the HDFS, HA and fault tolerance because replication and all those things are there at the HDFS level itself. Okay, so it relies on HDFS, high availability and fault tolerance for its work. So these are what all are the HBase components folks. Perfect. So now let's go ahead deep dive so we'll be spending a little bit of time on this architectural diagram so that your concepts are clear see at the bottom you have got your HDFS okay then we have got two region servers <clears throat> so you see there is no one-to-one -one mapping between the data nodes and the region server I had mentioned that to you earlier right okay so, Sampath was asking, so the client communicates with Zookeeper to put or get data? Exactly. The client will always communicate with the project lead. The project lead is a Zookeeper. He will never communicate with HMaster friend. You'll see that in the diagram right now. So, you can see over here, the client connects to the Zookeeper. The Zookeeper gets the data updated from the HMaster. Then, after connecting to the Zookeeper, the client knows which region server it has to get into. So, it will get into a region server. In the region server, there will be a region. In the region, there will be a store that is nothing but your H file and something in the mem store. Okay, H file is nothing but a part of the component which is mapped to the data node. So, the H file will tell which of the data node that particular uh, file is pointing to. So, you can see over here that uh, this H file is pointing to this DFS client, which is actually pointing to a different data node. So, you'll have, uh, uh, this is totally abstraction. So, if you look at the HDFS part of it, it's totally abstracted. So you don't know where exactly it's happening. That is all configured, automatically taken care of by your environment. HLog is nothing but your WAL, write ahead log, which is pointing to the HDFS again. Okay, so this is what is the architecture friend of your edge base versus this. Janardhan was asking, hey, before I go ahead, uh, uh, Sham was asking, so Zookeeper only works for HBase or does it has got other capabilities also? In fact, uh, Zookeeper in HBase, see Zookeeper is an independent uh, software component that is developed by Yahoo. Okay, so it is basically like a distributed uh, naming registry kind of a component. So it does a lot of things, but then it is also used in HBase uh, to find out uh, uh, what you call to do the project lead kind of roles. So Zookeeper is far more vaster, uh, I mean far more broader as compared to what its capabilities are. So HBase uses uh, Zookeeper internally for the project load. Uh, project the lead kind of roles. So that's your answer friend. Okay? So this is for Sham. So H store, couple of people are asking about H store, Janardhan and I uh, was asking about H store and H file over here. So first let's answer that, then I'll answer to everybody friends. So here you see something called as a store. So a store is nothing but uh, one part of an H file. So, see, you will have an H file is nothing but actually the uh, file that is there at a data node level, okay? One H file will be pointing to one data node. Think of it in that way. So, if there are three data nodes, okay, physical data nodes, in one region servers, you might have three separate H files. Here, the store is just a combination of the mem store and the H file. The store file is what is called as H file. That is a physical file. Look at the word store. Store means permanent, right? The storage. That is what is H file over here. Mem store means whatever is there in the memory. Okay? So, what happens over here is whenever somebody accesses a record, it will go down to the memory. Okay, then what it does is when somebody wants to get the data again, like for example, this region server is going to handle between 0 to 1999. 
So let's say somebody asks for row number 25. So it is not there in the mem store. So it will look at the H file. That means it will physically go down to the data node, get that particular data into the H file, put it into the mem store also, and then give it back to the client. So it is there in mem store right now. Okay. Then when somebody again asks for it, first it will look at the mem store to see if it is there so that it doesn't have to do a, a hard disk lookup. Okay, if it is not there, again it has to look at the store file which will go down to the data node level, pick up the data and give it back to the client. So over a period of time, you will have a lot of data that will be there in the mem store and that's how the access will start becoming faster. So hope people are clear on what is the store file and what the store file will contain an H file which is nothing but a representation of the data that is there in the data node. Mem store is the in-memory part of it. I haven't looked at the questions guys, I was trying to add one by one. So I have added what is the store file, what is there in the H file Janardhan. Abhishek was saying why HMaster is connected to only one DFS client. Hey, the DFS client is uh, uh, not necessarily, HMaster will be actually be connecting to the region servers. It is only a dotted thing that you are seeing here. Right? So the, look at these arrows. Uh, HMaster is actually connecting to both the servers, region servers, because the way the data has to be sharded, etc., how it has to be stored, everything will be taken care of by the HMaster. That's for Abhishek Savan. Okay? Aditya was saying, will there be any delay in the interaction between the edge base, DFS client, and edge base, and, and HDFS? Hey, HDFS DFS client is a virtual layer that I have shown over here so that you know how it connects. So that is all abstracted away from us Aditya. We would not be looking at it at all. So that is all abstraction that is only for the logical uh, point of layering for you. Abhishek was talking about only one uh, DFS. Hey, uh, you are again. I think you are getting confused. So I think I've answered that. HMaster talks to the region servers. It's only a dotted arrow how it is talking to the DFS client. DFS client is only a virtual thing. Okay, it's not a physical thing. There is no demon assets for the physical part of it. Okay. Cool. Now let me go back to H log is nothing but your val write ahead log, Shajit, like your edits in your RDBMS. You're welcome, Sham. Hassan was saying, HBase is NoSQL, but in NoSQL we often refer to saving in terms of aggregate objects, but here we are saving as tables. No, my dear friend, uh, uh, in NoSQL, it depends upon which NoSQL you are doing. In, in HBase, which is a NoSQL, we will never talk about aggregate objects. We will talk about an individual object only, Hassan. Okay? So if one region has got three data nodes, there will be three H files. Exactly. That's right, Janardhan. Fantastic. So Abhilash had a question. HDFS acts like name node where it gets the metadata and then client uh, accesses data nodes for processing. Uh, hey, H, H, no, no, hold on. Uh, in HBase, it is the uh, zookeeper which acts like the name node which gets the metadata and client can uh, get that, uh, go to the region server for accessing. Got it, Ablash? Because in HBase, there is no name node and data node, right? There is only HMaster, Zookeeper, and region server. <clears throat> cool. Okay, he's just correlating. Exactly. So your correlation was perfect, friend. 